Let's get ready to rumble. Easy. Yeah, I know. Come by there. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime slugfests. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the fights in anime that were brutal, ugly, and generally lacking any sort of grace to them. Get ready for bloody faces, broken bones, and a few spoilers down the line. Number 10, Sen vs. Ayame, Bento. What would you do for a discounted Bento box? Well, in the case of these lovely ladies, they'd kick the shit out of each other and anyone else in their way in order to claim it for themselves, using whatever means necessary. <laughs> While possessing some serious strength behind her sublime beauty, Ayame underestimates just how hardcore Sen is when it comes to battling it out for Bento, leading to a vicious defeat. <laughs> Number 9, Kibo vs. Samon, Shoot Fighter Tekken. You know how it goes. You're a legendary fighter's heir, been raised on his secret martial arts moves, and now find yourself taking on one of his students in a battle to the death. Who hasn't had a Thursday like that? Despite facing a man twice his size, Kibo is able to best the former protege by using his knowledge of the human body, and then exploiting the hell out of it with some vicious blows. Yeah. It's as simple as a slugfest can be, and that's what makes it so fun to watch. Yes. I Number 8, Tota vs Kaito, UQ Holder. Now this is what a vampire versus werewolf battle is supposed to look like. As one of the strongest members of Powerful Hand, Kaito appeared to make quick work of the young immortal thanks to his incredible speed, even managing to blow Tota's heart to pieces. Alas, it must have slipped Kaito's mind that Tota was the grandson of Neji Springfield, yes, the Harem King of Nejima. Since he swiftly recovers and then proceeds to pulverize the wolf boy into submission. It's almost like we're watching a good version of Twilight. <laughs> Number 7, Spec vs. Hanayama, Baki. Given the amount of damage that Hanayama took throughout this brawl, we're still stunned that he managed to come out of the whole thing the winner, albeit with a blown up face. <laughs> After saving Baki from getting cock blocked, the young Yakuza takes on the death row inmates in the bloodiest of brawls. Despite Speck pummeling him with anything he can get his hands on, he's woefully unprepared for just how much punishment Hanayama can endure, and how much he can dish out in return. <laughs> Number 6, Joe vs. Aragaki, Magalo Box. It's a boxing match between two students of the same mentor, one haunted by his past and one fighting for the future. With such stark contrasts between them, not only was this battle high in emotional tension, but it was also unrelenting in its action. With neither willing to give an inch despite their various handicaps, it wasn't long before blood was drenching the mat. Joe may have walked away the winner in the end, but no one can say it wasn't hard for on both sides. Number 5, Birdie vs. Nataru, Birdie the Mighty, Deco 2. 
Most love confessions don't end with a super-powered fist fight through the wreckage of a city. But hey, what else would you expect from Birdie? <laughs> With her childhood friend on the warpath, the interplanetary officer has no choice but to go all out with her Ixioran abilities in order to stop him for good. <laughs> Even if you aren't invested in Birdie's moral dilemma about bringing down her old friend, you're sure to be entranced by the crazy action since between them, they manage to make rubble out of everything they touch. <laughs> Number 4 Tiger vs Kano Toradora Never let it be said that high schoolers on the shorter end of the spectrum don't know how to fight like shonen action stars. Case in point, when Tiger and Kano tore up a classroom and nearly beat each other purple. Don't call me an idiot, you bitch! Sure, it may have all revolved around a boy, but you can't tell us that you didn't shudder each time a punch landed. You're a big fat chicken, admit it! We would say it was sweet that Tiger was willing to go to such lengths so that Kano could understand Yusaku's feelings, but we just hate to imagine what would happen if he ended up breaking their hearts. I won't let you get away with it! I won't! Stop it, Tiger! <laughs> Number 3, Spike vs. Vincent, Cowboy Bebop the Movie. Don't tell me the party already started. No, only just now. There are very few who can ever say they have been able to hold a candle to the space cowboy when it came to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And yet this vengeful criminal did just that. <laughs> Good thing too, since it gave us a close quarters skirmish that none of us will be forgetting anytime soon. With a Halloween parade serving as the backdrop, Spike and Vincent go all out for their final showdown with a brilliant display of martial arts mastery. If you're looking for a feast of flying fists and fancy footwork, then eat your heart out. <laughs> Number 2, Simon vs. Anti-Spiral, Gurren Lagann the movie, The Lights in the Sky Are Stars. How does one top two giant mecha the size of whole galaxies battling it out in one of the most ludicrously awesome battles of all time? By following it up with a rather intimate yet equally visceral fistfight between a determined digger and the embodiment of universal stagnation. <laughs> Unrelenting in their opposing desires, all Simon and the Anti-Spiral can do is keep getting back up after every blow, all the while Nia watches on in silent hope. Each devastating punch carries a heavy weight as Simon the Driller fights not only for himself, but the rest of mankind. <laughs> Number 1, Midoriya vs Bakugo, My Hero Academia. It was the rematch we were waiting for, and it even exceeded all our expectations. Why? After finally figuring out the source of Deku's power, Bakugo demands an impromptu battle to see who truly is the strongest. Not only is the fight savage as hell, with both demonstrating just how far they've come with mastering quirks, but also shows their personal growth as characters. You're the best! That's why I want to defeat you! By the time the battle is concluded, we can plainly see how far they have come since their early days in UA High. I won't lose to you! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.